Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In today's video, we are going to discuss about hot topics from Microsoft Business Application Summit 2021. Recently, Microsoft conducted their Microsoft Annual Business Application Summit, where they talked about a lot of new upcoming features as well as the generally available features in Power BI. In today's video, I'm going to talk about briefly about all those new upcoming features as well as the features that are generally available in Power BI. So stay tuned till the end of this video. Now there are some features which were previously available only in preview but now they are generally available. The very first is Smart Narrative Visual. This visualization summarizes visuals and reports to address key takeaways and point out trends. Also the Microsoft team added accessibility support, localization in 43 languages and the ability to summarize more visuals such as maps and cards. So you can now use all those features in your Power BI desktop application. Second one is the anomaly detection. This helps us enhance our line charts by automatically detecting anomalies in our time series data and explanation for the anomalies to help with root cause analysis. This one also now available generally. The third one is Power BI Premium Gen 2. This feature was available in preview mode only but going from July onwards this feature would be generally available. So there are certain features which are gonna come by the end of this year in Power BI and this is the list of those features. So now we are going to discuss all these features one by one. But before going that you should know that currently there are certain features which are in preview such as quick create from SharePoint list, modern visual tooltips, goals in Power BI and lastly Power BI Automate Visual. So these are right now available for you to test to work on them and also you can provide your feedback to the Microsoft team if you face any issues. Now we are going to start with our very first upcoming feature that is Automated Insights. Automated Insights combine all Power BI AI functionality ranging from anomaly detection to smart narratives and the decomposition tree into a single end-to-end -end experience directly catered to your needs. When you open a report, Automated Insights runs behind the scenes and surfaces details that need your attention. You can also click into the new Get Insights button in the ribbon whenever you want to get additional insights about the visuals you are seeing. So you can clearly see on this video on your screen that how it's actually going to work. Make datasets discoverable and request access. In a culture of data reuse, analysts should be able to see what data is available in their organization for them to use. To this end, another big step Power BI has taken is to allow a data owner to make their datasets discoverable even by users who don't yet have access to the data it contains. As an admin or a member of a workspace, when you endorse a dataset, by default, you'll also be making it discoverable by others. You can then request access to it if they don't have access already. Now that dataset can be made discoverable, users can find data that interests them and request access to it in the dataset hub and in Power BI desktop. In many cases, Getting access to data goes through a process that is unique to your organization and to your dataset. Recognizing the variety of processes for requesting and granting access, now Power BI allow any dataset owner, workspace admin, member or contributor to customize per dataset instructions for how to get access. When an end user requests access to the dataset, they will be shown a dialogue message with details about how to get access. As you can see on my screen, we can configure the instructions, how you can get the dataset access. By default, if no instructions were set, the access request will be sent by email to the user who created the dataset or to the one who assumed ownership of that dataset. The next one is data in space. 
In a digital world, data is produced in vast quantities by IoT sensors embedded in almost any environment. With data in space provided by Power BI mobile apps, the frontline workers will be able to augment Power BI reports in physical space as close as possible to the objects who generate them. These reports will be add a data layer on top of the object, helping people get a better understanding of the data in the spatial context. So that's how it's going to help to everyone around the world who's using Power BI, whether you are a worker, you are a professional or anyone who is using the Power BI. The next one is create optimized reports for mobile devices. Well, we all are using mobile phones to access Power BI reports or to render Power BI reports to share with our colleagues or to the management or to the executives. When building a report, you can choose which visuals will show up in the layout optimized for mobile devices using the optional layout builder for mobile devices. Coming soon, Microsoft Power BI team will be enabling you to modify the properties of the visual to further optimize the appearance for mobile devices. Creators can modify fonts, colors, size, legends and others, making sure that your report will be optimized for mobile consumption. So you will get a lot of new features in the Power BI mobile app so that you can customize reports how it's going to look into the mobile devices. Next one is analyze your personal Microsoft Teams usage. Microsoft Teams has become fundamental to how many of us get work done every day. To help you understand your personal use of Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Power BI team have added a new Power BI connector and out-of-the-box report. This feature provides a terrific way to gain insight into personal team's usage metrics, such as the number of meetings participated in, and the amount of time you have spent sharing content, as well as understanding usage patterns of team's channel you are a member of. So that's how it's going to help you to analyze your personal Microsoft Teams usage. Now we are going to discuss about Deploy Power BI Apps into Teams app. Helping organizations deliver data and insights one click away whenever people work is key to driving a data culture. Coming soon, Microsoft Power BI team going to make this even easier to achieve with the ability to package and distribute Power BI apps as apps in Microsoft Teams. This means that organizations will be able to choose to pre-pin Power BI apps in Teams for their users and enables end users to discover these Power BI apps on their own within the Teams app gallery. If you would like to learn more about this feature, I'll provide you a link in the description section and you can go and check that. New insights and governance functionality for Power BI admins. Azure Monitor integration will allow you to connect Power BI Premium embedded environments to Azure Log Analytics workspaces. Log Analytics provides long-term data usage, retention policies, and ad hoc query capability, and the ability to analyze activities in Power BI using built-in connector. You will be able to access to detailed logs on analysis services datasets activity, capacity utilization, and report usage and performance in near real time. You will be able to view template reports and apps so you can understand how, when, and by whom content and resources are being consumed. Modern usage metrics will be updated to provide 90 days of history. You'll be able to access built-in usage reports on aggregated trend data and drill down to each individual page level view. Each page view will have performance information, including breakdown of query and rendering duration. Microsoft Power BI team also released a new series of admin APIs to provide detailed visibility to access rights. You will be able to determine the users, groups, and permissions on a given Power BI artifact such as report, dashboard, dataset, data flow, app, workspace, or capacity. You can also specify all the content and permissions any specific user has access to and satisfy audit and compliance needs. Next, we are going to talk about data loss prevention enhancements. Recently, 
Microsoft Power BI announced enhanced security and data loss prevention capabilities for Microsoft Power BI to ensure the highest level of data security while bringing data insights to everyone across the organization. The first step Microsoft Power BI team took are the general availability of sensitivity label in Power BI. Sporting these capabilities with the respective API and securing the full data journey from Azure to Office. Moving forward, Power BI will allow you to define a mandatory label policy in your organization, as well as apply automatic label inheritance on downstream connected artifacts. Also, the support for setting label in desktop currently, which is in preview, will become generally available. With these capabilities, organization will be able to ensure all the used in Power BI service or desktop is classified and remain protective. Now, you would be very pleased to hear that Paginated Report Visual for Power BI reports is going to come very soon. Microsoft Power BI team is bringing together Paginated Reports and Interactive Reports for the first time with the new Paginated Report Visual. You would be able to embed a paginated report directly in your Power BI report and use filter slices and cross highlighting to interact with the visual just as you would other Power BI visuals. Additionally, you will be able to export and print the paginated report directly from the Power BI report canvas and preserve all formattings. Isn't it amazing? You are gonna love this feature. You won't need to depend directly on the paginated report builder. You can just use that Power BI visualization and then you can do that. Next, let's talk about automated aggregations. So we all know that aggregations are very important for any data model. Automatic aggregation unlock massive data set for interactive analysis as Power BI Automatic creates and manage in-memory aggregation based on usage pattern to boost query performance and user concurrency. Automatic aggregations will support direct query data set over Azure Synapse, Azure SQL Database, Snowflake, and Google BigQuery. So you can use it from any data warehouse. Deployment Pipeline Automation. Many of us are already using this feature in Power BI Premium per user or Power BI Premium capacity. These includes the automate to release of content updates with a set of new APIs for deployment pipelines. With these APIs, BI teams can deploy multiple pipelines at a scheduled time, cascade deployments of Power BI content, and lastly, you would also be able to easily integrate Power BI release process into familiar DevOps tools, such as Azure DevOps or GitHub Actions. Many of us, we were thinking earlier, if we have Azure DevOps, why should we go for the deployment pipelines? But now, perhaps this is gonna answer your queries. By the end of this year, you will be able to see these features. Now, let's talk about the embedded Power BI in Jupyter Notebook. Soon, you will be able to embed Power BI reports in your Jupyter Notebooks and then use Power BI features to improve data storytelling. Once embedded, you can add Power BI bookmarks to make it possible to show different views of the same report and order these views to facilitate data storytelling. You can also export the data of one of the visuals and do additional data exploration using Python. Now let's talk about the preview features. The very first is Quick Create from SharePoint List. Microsoft Office 365 has started rolling out a new visualizing Power BI capability for SharePoint List. This allows users of SharePoint List to quickly create a Power BI report to visualize data in the list. The same logic from the Power BI Quick Create feature is used to automatically generate visualizations which can be used as a starting point to explore and customize a Power BI report. Created reports can be published back to the SharePoint list so that it appears in the SharePoint list integrate menu for other users to view. The second one is Modern Visual Tooltips. Tooltips are an important part of Power BI reports as they provide additional information about a data point and allow for progressive disclosure of that information. This month, Power BI team is releasing a public preview of new visual tooltips. These new tooltips include data point drill actions and updated styling to match your report theme. Once you enable these new tooltips, 
you will be able to drill down up and drill through on a data point without having to use the right click menu or visual headers the next one is goals in power bi well it's quite a very interesting feature and i'm sure you are gonna love it goals in power bi will redefine how you measure key business metrics outcomes and milestones Using goals, individuals can aggregate metrics with a deep ownership and accountability. Goals helps you streamline the process of collecting, tracking, and analyzing all your business metrics in one place. You can create scoreboards with write-back capabilities, define status, check in with notes, and assign goals to individuals. Goals can be powered by data coming from one or more Power BI reports spanning different workspaces. To track and update progress of goals and KPIs on the go, support for goals in the Power BI mobile apps is coming soon. A new goals tab will be added to the app, allowing you to view your scorecards and closely monitor goals assigned to you, making it possible for you to stay on the top of your targets from anywhere at any time. Now we are going to talk about Power Automate Visual. This is going to empower your end users to go from insight to action with the new Power BI Automate Visual. End users can run an automated flow all within a Power BI report. Furthermore, the executed flow can be data contextual, meaning that the flow inputs can be dynamic based on the filter set by the end user. If you need more details on it, I'll provide you a link in the description. Now let's talk about the last preview feature that is refresh connections to Power BI data within Excel for the web. Ensuring it is incredibly easy to use Excel to connect to Power BI and analyze the data is key to empowering every individual and team. Excel spreadsheets provide flexible, powerful and familiar capabilities for data that are fundamental for every data user. Integration between Power BI and Excel is taking a huge step forward by Microsoft Power BI team as Power BI team is rolling out the ability to refresh connection to Power BI data in Excel for the web. Microsoft Power BI team have made it simple to connect Excel to Power BI either by analyzing in Excel from Power BI or discovering and connecting to Power BI data right from within Excel. Now, when you share these connected workbooks through OneDrive and SharePoint, Recipients will be able to refresh data and interact with pivot tables connected to Power BI. These capabilities have started rolling out across Office 365 tenants and Microsoft Power BI team expect the feature will be fully rolled out in the next few months. So guys, this was the brief about Annual Application Summit 2021. Please stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon.